Nostalgia is a hell of a drug, and the MCU knows this. They're gonna keep giving us those dopamine hits. We just had MCU's take on Deadpool come out a couple days ago, and it is full of cameos and references and everything you remember from 20 years ago, if you were alive 20 years ago. And now they're back with announcements at San Diego Comic-Con, with the biggest reveal being Doctor Doom once again gracing the big screen, this time played by Robert Downey Jr., of course. <laughs> what? Uh, that's right, there was a big reveal on stage that the 59-year-old actor is coming back into the MCU. He was never really gone, let's be honest. He was always returning somehow, either as a variant or a flashback sequence, or who knows, a ghost. Might as well, we'll throw go- there's witches in this thing. Anything's possible. And from what I read, he's not even an evil variant of Tony Stark. He's straight up Victor Von Doom, a completely different character. Weird. Alongside that announcement is the fact that the Kang Dynasty is no more. In maybe the largest shoot yourself in the face moment, Jonathan Majors is out. He's basically screwed over his entire career. And the MCU went back to the drawing board, reworked everything. Doom is now the big bad for the next two Avengers movies, which have been rejiggered. It's now going to be Secret Wars and Doomsday. The latter is going to be introducing Robert Downey Jr.'s Doom. Personal opinion on it, this is very Doctor Strange. This kind of flies in the face of what people have been saying. I remember Quentin Tarantino said that uh, actors are no longer relevant. It's all about the character. Nobody cares who plays Wolverine. Nobody cares who plays Deadpool. Nobody cares who plays Captain America. False. I think there very much is a market out there for people who like big name actors. Maybe less so the new generation, but my age and maybe 10 years younger, they definitely know actors and they're definitely excited about this announcement. Not all though. This is starting to feel a bit like What If, that animated series where different characters play different roles. What's next? Scarlett Johansson gonna show back up as Jubilee. Chris Evans shows up as Dr. Octopus. I loved Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. I think pretty much everyone universally did. He was fantastic. Really the heart and soul of the MCU early on. But he was sunsetted perfectly. He had a great ending. And so to bring him back as another character, a villain this time, it just kind of screams desperation to me. This is not a big revelation, but the MCU has not been on the best footing lately. A series of pretty mediocre to awful films came out in a row with Thor Love and Dunder, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Shidia, the Marvels bombed. There's just not a lot going on for them at the moment. Plus their TV shows have been incredibly lackluster to be positive about them. So by announcing your greatest asset returning now as a villain, one of the most prominent villains in Marvel Comics, yeah, it, it just reeks of desperation in my opinion. That doesn't mean it won't work. That doesn't mean Robert Downey won't kill it as the character. But I also feel like he made his name here. He did his job. He put in the work. Let's pass the torch to someone else to have that role. You know there's an actor out there that could freaking kill the role of Doctor Doom and become a prominent key player like Robert Downey Jr. was. Downey's like a billionaire, I think, off of Tony Stark. Get someone else that level of fame. Don't just go back to the same well. I started out by saying nostalgia is a hell of a drug, and that certainly remains true. That's why they keep making sequel after sequel and remake and reboot. Twisters just came out, which is basically the same movie as Twister. There's no question people eat this stuff up, but I'm more interested in something with substance. Just putting a face to a character, just giving a aha reveal, Sure, dopamine hits great, right? But I want something for the long haul. And Robert Downey Jr., he's Iron Man to me. But by all means, be excited for this. Don't let me sour it. Don't let me Debbie down you out of thinking this is a great idea. It very well could be awesome. And I think Robert Downey Jr.'s played a lot of different characters over the years. It's, it's not like he's only Tony Stark. He has a ton of range. We just saw him knock it out of the park in Oppenheimer. I have no doubt he will do a great job in this role. I just, there's this part of me that kind of rolls my eyes at the whole corporate structure of all of it. The, the fact that they're kind of like in the background counting their money and deciding using their charts and schematics and counters what is the best way we can go to maximize profits. We could go with a no-name actor. 
we could find another Robert Downey Jr. type of actor who's maybe fallen on hard times, but he's really good at the craft. Or we could just go back to Downey. We could just screw all of it and say, hey, this is the easiest thing we could possibly do. We screwed the pooch with Ant-Man and the Wasp and the Kang Dynasty. Let's pivot. Let's bring people back to the MCU. And since capitalism is now 100% of the focus of pretty much every company out there, and it's no longer even a tinge about the artwork, yeah, that's what we're gonna get from these big corporate movies. So there you have it, my thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. returning to the MCU as Doctor Doom. Sounds like he's not a variant of Tony Stark, which again, seems very bizarre, but uh, here we are, we're along for the ride, I suppose. Let me know your thoughts on this, leave a comment, please like the video if you enjoyed the commentary, and I would love if you subscribe. I post movie commentary, reviews, rants, roasts every single week, would love to have you stick around. If you really like what I'm doing, you can become a Patreon or a YouTube Join member right here on YouTube. I would appreciate the support. All right, take care.